Hi you guys, welcome back to our channel and today you guys, today I will be going through a lot of information about this pregnancy and yeah, I will be answering a lot of you guys' questions but before we dive in I just want to say a warm thank you to everyone who took the time to message us, to share the love. I see you guys, I see all the comments, I see all the likes, I see all the DMs. Honestly you guys, I wish I could give you guys individually a hug, that's how much you guys have touched me. The thing that blows my mind is the fact that strangers strangers actually you know taking the time out of their day just to say you know what to show support to be like yeah we got your back and we're happy for you and stuff like that oh it just it honestly sends chills down my back just thinking about it like these are people you've never met and they are sending you paragraphs just telling you they're happy for you and stuff like that so just a warm warm thank you to our subscribers you guys are the best as usual let's dive in so you guys first thing first how far along am i a lot of you guys are mistaken thinking that i'm three weeks and a half i think that's what the pregnancy test that we announced the announcement with last video that's what i said so a lot of you guys think that i'm you know that far along no you guys i am not three weeks i am actually over three months Ooh just finished my first trimester yo and this is what this video is mainly going to be about i'm just going to talk about my experience my symptoms mainly and how i feel so far and what i felt when i first found out so you guys i am over three months and what was my first ever symptoms my first ever symptom before even i found out that i was pregnant my breasts were like so sore but then i'm used to that because once a month before it's that time of the month my breasts usually get sore so i actually didn't even like think of it i didn't even think of it as like oh is this like something else i just thought it was normal but my breasts were like so sore you guys it was like so bad like i just couldn't even like sleep on them so yeah that was like the first symptom that i actually remember but then i was like hmm, that's just fear for you you know what i mean the second thing that i noticed this was after i found out that i was actually pregnant um the second thing that i noticed was i just did not want to see or smell chocolate i don't know why now i can like kind of handle it but like i'm still not a big fan of it i don't know why but i just could not see someone eat something like chocolate i don't know why i just did not like the smell of it i didn't like the thought of me eating it so i kind of like stayed away from it which i thought you know what this is good that means i'm not gonna lose gain a lot of weight and then next thing you know my first craving ever that i recall of was a lollipop and i'm not talking about anything sweet i did not want sweet stuff i just wanted hard candy like a lollipop I actually you guys i kept telling abdullahi to get me a lollipop i just wanted a lollipop and then he had enough he said to me okay I will bring back a lollipop and guess what he brings me you guys skittles lolly and a skittle is two different things but to me i was like oh my god like i just want a lolly that was like the craziest craving and i'm not someone who like gets cravings so far so far hey 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 i'm talking as if i'm like already given birth or anything but like the other thing that i really really enjoy eating it's like apples i don't know why i would just want to have an apple all the time like girl i've been munching on those apples like it's nothing and like whatever if i'm not feeling for no food i would want apple and another thing that i noticed was you guys i've lost my appetite after years of wanting this i've lost appetite for all type of food like honestly i just don't want no chicken i don't want no meat it's not that they make me feel sick it's just that I don't wanna I don't have the need to like have it kind of thing you know I would rather things like I've been obsessed with like vegetarian things like beans honestly like <laughs> I have been having I have been consuming a lot of beans like when I mean a lot of beans I can have it for breakfast lunch which I have already that was my breakfast that was my lunch yeah yeah lately i've just been wanting beans and like vegetarian sauces like that you know what i mean i'm just i'm, I'm just been like off food i don't know why i just don't feel like eating rice pasta no chicken no burger i don't know why but i guess it's a good thing so far like i'm not complaining shouldn't be going crazy with food right now but it's just been hard to like give yourself a balanced diet because it was just really hard for me because i was just put off everything i was like i just don't want food it's not like it made me feel sick it's just that i just did not want to i didn't have the didn't have the feel to like have it so i wouldn't have it kind of thing i'll just live off apples and beans and things like that so that's 
food wise so far physical things i remember at the beginning i used to get a lot of cramps which scared the hell out of me i was like is this normal is something wrong but like a lot of cramps but then i guess that's really really normal um right now my cramps are not as like frequent as they used to be but i still get that little stretching or just some sort of discomfort down in the abdomen but that's still fine i'm told but like at the beginning i remember you guys i used to be so scared i was like oh my god is something wrong or something like i would be so scared to go to the toilet and like wipe or you know and i'll be like oh my god am i gonna find blood or something like that you know what i mean i just had like really high anxiety um towards like just miscarriage and stuff but then once you leave the first trimester i'm told that you know your chances are reduced so i was like kind of relieved actually you guys one more thing i don't know if it's my wild imagination but like since i found out i'm pregnant i've been having crazy crazy dreams i'm talking about i would like wake up and then i would go back to sleep and have another dream three dreams in one night like this is how crazy they get and it feels so real and i can like feel everything my dreams have been going crazy they're more like nightmarish or if it's not a nightmare it's like a weird dream like weird you know and another thing you guys i was napping a lot <laughs> not now but like in the beginning beginning like two three weeks into the pregnancy i was sleeping like there was no tomorrow you guys i would this was my routine literally for like a good four weeks five weeks even this, this would be my routine i would go to bed at like 3 a.m i would not be able to sleep until like it's like 3 a.m and then i would wake up early morning maybe like eight seven nine and then i would not be able to go back to sleep until it's like 2 p.m <laughs> and then by the time i'm like trying to you know get on with my day at 2 p.m i'll just conk i'll just be like i need to have a nap and then i'll go to bed at 2 p.m yeah and then i'll wake up around like six and then yeah so forth and on and on and on so makes most of my days were spent sleeping yeah am i ashamed of it a little bit but am i blaming or not pregnancy yeah i still don't sleep early but i would wake up at a like understandable time and i would not i'll try to like not nap i still will get sleepy around like seven six <laughs> no but then i should be going to bed then but i'll get sleepy but then i know if i go to bed i'll wake up four hours later i would just try and stay awake and not nap throughout the whole day that i've been able to do recently but yeah i feel like now that i'm officially in the second trimester things are getting a little bit better no more cramps no more feeling of like just ah, things putting you off i'm still not eating well but now i know things that i can like have that i can tolerate like beans and stuff so if i can live off beans and apples i will live off beans and apples but then you know i'm trying to like see what else i will like and hopefully hopefully i get my appetite back but it's been hell I'm trying to find what i can enjoy and stuff um apart from that it's been such an easy ride alhamdulillah i feel like i'm saying that after like a long paragraph but it's been such a good pregnancy apart from those little like minor setbacks i feel like i'm not even pregnant sometimes i forget i'm pregnant you guys word i forget that i'm pregnant like i literally forget honestly right now i probably forgot i don't feel nothing like you know what i thought you guys when i'm when, I, when i'm pregnant i feel stuff i don't feel nothing <laughs> i just feel so tired oh yeah you will feel tired <laughs> i just feel tired all the time and sometimes I, I just feel so lazy but then it's not the laziness i'm like why am i so lazy but it's not the fact that i'm lazy it's just the fact that i'm tired i don't know what is eating my energy away maybe the baby that's inside of me but you know what i mean but yeah so i'm not lazy <laughs> stop telling me i'm lazy no i shouldn't say that people are gonna gun you down he doesn't tell me i'm lazy he loves me <laughs> oh my god when I first found out, you guys, I was just like gobsmacked. I was like, what? Where? How? Where do I start? What do I do? Like straight away, I started thinking of names. I started thinking of, oh my God, I need to do this. I need to do that. I need to do this. I need to get this. I need to buy this. I need to do this. And straight away, I just put myself in like a mental space where I was like, I need to do so many things and I'm, I've got so little time. I just panic straight away, which is a mistake. Don't do that. But then now I'm like, you know what? Whatever. The time will come honestly it got to a point where like if i would think of like for example oh my god i need to buy this and that like i would just automatically feel sick like my body will make me feel like i need to like throw up that's how overwhelmed i would make myself just by overthinking and then i was like you know what feel like we gotta stop with this overthinking which is natural i'm a first time mom to be it's 
natural for me to stress and overthink but like straight away I realized that there was a problem I was overthinking yes there's a lot of things I need to do but like I thought you know what I just need to take it down a notch and just go with the flow and try and enjoy this experience as much as possible rather than stress about you know I'm sure I'll get things done as I go on with it but you know just breathe in and take it day by day and that's what I'm trying to do not scared I'm just scared to gain weight I've said it and it's out there and I will be gaining weight and I'm just not ready for it I just want to like straight away get myself into like a headspace where I want to be body positive and be like you know what this is a journey this is an experience and it doesn't have to stay like this I can always go back to the gym a day after I give birth just kidding <laughs> but yeah you guys apart from this it's been an easy ride, alhamdulillah. Not trying to jinx it, but so far so good. I feel like I'm slowly getting my energy back. I feel like, you know, I don't need to nap as often. Yeah, things are good. And it's weird not having abs sitting here. Sucks. But anyways, that was my first trimester update. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see our first scan, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And also turn on your post notifications so you guys will be alerted whenever we post. And as always, bye bye, ciao.